So I needed to have a little fun and I wanted to challenge the Cobra Go. So this lightsaber looked like a lot of fun. I would share the lessons that I learned. The very first lesson is that if there's instructions, follow them and you can avoid a situation like this where very easy to break versus when I followed the instructions, I ended up with a very robust tube. And in the instructions, they tell you specifically to print with a 0.9 millimeter layer width. The next lesson that I learned is that functional parts, you might want to be cautious if you decide to do a lightning infill. I took the risk wanting to save time and I ended up paying the price because it broke really easily because of the lack of infill. I repaired it with crazy glue originally and that did not last when playing with it. Then I started using hot glue and I overdid it. For things that are stationary or maybe light duty, lightning infill will work great and you'll save time. But in my case, just flicking this lightsaber ended up breaking the, uh, the handle. The next lesson learned is that Yes, you can turn up the speed and you can save yourself some time, but when you start getting into st tall items like the very, very tip of the blade, there can be instability at the top because it's moving it around. So you don't end up with the nicest finish on the end of that tip. So I ended up having to dial things down a little bit and I'll show you the finished example. Came out fantastic. So slowing this thing down and not printing quite as fast, I ended up with a much nicer finish on the end of the very, very tip piece. The other tubes that are larger in diameter are much more stable when you print them. So I was able to print those a little bit faster than the very, very end blade. I also printed all of them using a brim around the base to try to add to the stability as it was printing its way up. So as I was printing it, I played around with the speed a lot. I was running it a lot faster as I was working my way up here. Once I got to the overhang, I just dialed things down a little bit in order to be able to make sure that I could get a nice ledge here. This is the only real overhang that I was concerned about. The rest that go on to uh, the end cap those were all came out fantastic but that was the one that i was concerned about and there is a little bit of a, a line there that i could easily remove if i want to but honestly i'm not going to mess with it it's really interesting that he managed to design in a bit of a texture into the handle and it came through in both examples it's it's really neat and i'm very very curious to know how it is that he managed to do that. You know, so it, it came out really, really cool. It's a lot of fun. Uh, when I made the mistake of using the lightning infill on the first one, I ended up reprinting uh, both parts and I put uh, a larger infill on the end cap here than I did in the body. I believe it was 15% and 10% uh, just because it didn't look like it really needed that much infill. Whereas this one, what ended up happening on the original, when you're collapsing the sword, you're pushing the sword back in and it ended up blowing out the end of the uh, end cap. So, so far I've played with this one quite a bit and I've had no effect. Anyways, it's really, really fun. I think this may be the coolest thing I ever printed. Oh, the, the detail, look at the detail on the arrows and stuff, you know? So, I mean, it printed in this orientation on the printer and it just came out fantastic. It is so cool. A lot of fun. Uh, anyways, printed on a Cobra Go. Came out dynamite. Super happy with it. Now I've got all my friends asking me to print them for them. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, let me know. And happy printing. Thanks for watching.